hi everybody i hope you're all well um this is day nine of uh 2023 shop by mum advent calendar and this video is going to be ever so slightly different because it's i i'm filming this on my lunch break and um i have i filmed it it was uh, and everything it was all fine and then right when i hit stop something happened on my laptop I had to reboot, I had to do various updates, and when I've come to open the file, it will not open. I've tried opening it in multiple softwares as such. I've, um, you know, just like crossing my fingers and hoping that reboots, it'll work. It will not work. So I have already opened the book. I just don't have a recording of it. So I'm going to show you the book that I got uh, from Shop by Mum and tell you about the author and such that I spoke about during the actual opening video. Uh, but you will not be able to see me actually unwrap it. Um, but just in case, uh, just to, to explain, I got a 12 day advent calendar off Etsy uh, from a shop called Shop by Mum, which I include a link in the description. And it is uh, 12 books from two genres I picked, which are crime slash thriller and romance. And I, so I, other than that, I have absolutely no idea what book I'm getting on any given day, apart from the genre. And so far, the eight books that I previously opened were all from authors I'd never read before, and also book titles that I'd never read. So I'm yeah, really excited. Book nine, what am I going to get? And uh, this would be the point where you see me unwrap it. But as I said, I don't have an unwrapping video uh, because the file got corrupted. So I'll just have to show it to you. Book nine was Let the Good Times Roll by Linda Page. Now, Linda Page is a name that I recognize uh, in books that are more geared towards uh, female um female readers and I didn't know until I um, was in my other video when I was googling her and such exactly what genres and such that she works um that she's written with so uh so Linda Page she's 73 years old and is a saga author based in Lincolnshire uh where she lives on a daughter's holiday park this is set on a holiday park I will read the back of the book in a moment just so I just want to give you some info about the author first so she's written over 20 critically praised saga novels, which reached the best-selling charts for W.H. Smith and the Sunday Times. She began writing her first novel, Annie, in 1987 during lunch hours while working on various jobs, amongst them as secretary in Land Rover Parts in Desford. Annie was sent to a friend by a friend to a literary agent who arranged for her to sign a contract with her current publisher's headline. And it looks like headline have published her the whole of her career. Um, so her debut novel, Evie, was released in 1992 and Annie, the book that she first wrote, became her second published novel. Um, so her next two books had the main character as the title and the later titles were popular sayings. Her novels are prominent, prominently set in Leicester and are renowned for strong plots and characters. Her books make use of Leicestershire speech and often involve a sense of intrigue or crime. So this is the crime. This, to look at that, you would not think that that is a crime slash thriller. You think, oh, it's more of a romance related. No, it's not. She, she, she um, has a sense of intrigue or crime in her stories. Initially, her time settings range from the turn of the century, a uh, 20th century, as seen in At the Toss of the Sixpence, to the 1970s, as seen in Josie. In the 2000s, she found a niche writing sagas set in the 1950s and 60s. Some of the recent books feature a fictitious holiday camp called Jollies in the 1960s. Um, her official website link didn't work for me when I was doing the, the previous video. Um, so I haven't got an official website to look at. I just literally just use the same page as I was <laughs> previously. But yeah, so this one, Let the Good Times Roll, was published in 2018 and her, uh, sorry, 2015. Let me get it right. Let me just absolutely double check that. Yes, 2015. And then the last book that, that um, she had published was 2018. So um, as I said, the last ones were set in like holiday camp called the Jollies, which is what this one is set. But I don't know. I don't I don't think necessarily that these it's like 
five or six books that's one continuous story i think it's more like they're standalone but they're all that they're set in the same place in order to have a saga you've got stories of individuals that you know you could put all together as one um but they are sort of standalone if you see what i mean so let's look at the back of the book so it says at jollies the holiday makers have nothing to worry about except how much sun is going to shine if only that was that was the case for the staff when the head of the entertainment team is accused of sleeping with a guest his instant dismissal leads to patsy mathers landing the coveted role of head stripey Patsy can't believe her luck and is determined to do her best, but fellow stripey Dixie Carter has other ideas. Meanwhile, someone is trying to sabotage the smooth running of the camp, and staff manager Harold Rose has to rally the troops to ensure that Jolly's remains the place where the good times roll. With drama and adventures at every turn, a holiday at Jolly's is impossible to forget. So yeah, so that's Let the Good Times Roll. I'm really quite, it makes me smile. It makes me think of, I don't know why, but I'm thinking of things like, obviously Heidi High, but also like Darling Buds and May because of the setting. Um, but, you know, a bit of a, maybe more seedier and, you know, crime like you said. I don't know why, but it's just, it's just making me smile. I've heard of Linda Page before. I have seen this cover before. I, I recognized it as soon as I started opening it. Um, but yeah, I've never actually picked up one of her books uh, and I've not read any of her books. So yeah, I'm really excited to read this one. Uh, this one's more well loved than other secondhand books that I've gotten in this calendar so far. But I love spine breaks. I love the, you know, we've got some a break down the, the cover here, but it just means it was well loved and that's a good thing. So yeah, I'm excited to um, put Let the Good Times Roll by Linda Page into my jars. So I'm hoping that the next video doesn't get corrupt, um, but yeah, fingers crossed, touch wood, all that jazz. Um, and uh, yeah, she'll be back in a couple of days with the 10th book opening. Uh, I can't believe that already. That's insane. Uh, and hopefully it'll all be okay. All right, then, everyone. Bye.